Medium-sized cars have a tough time in South Africa. They appear to offer a lot of space and a lot of value, but most buyers will prefer to go smaller and opt for a premium brand, going for cars like the BMW 3 Series, the Audi A4 or the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. It's also the reason why you'll see cars like the Honda Accord or the Volkswagen Passat sell in relatively small numbers. The legacy is very much a medium car. The question is, will that GT badge and the brand's performance heritage make it a viable option? One could argue that the legacy lives in the shadow of its more illustrious stablemates. Models like the Impreza STI, the Forester, and more recently the BRZ Sports Coupe have tended to hog the limelight. But the four-door sedan deserves closer attention because it wraps Subaru's dynamic heritage and technological innovation in a larger, sleeker and surprisingly competent package. The Legacy is not the most striking of cars. It's not that it's unattractive and those bigger wheels and color coding do add a bit of dynamic flair. But in general terms, the styling is simply too generic to be absolutely distinctive. And nothing, nothing can disguise the fact that this is a large and imposing car. In GT Guys, which is now the only model on offer, the Legacy does gain some visual pep. The integrated body kit, the slightly flared wheel arches and the hungrier air intakes add some welcome aggression. And let's face it, not everyone wants the loud and proud approach of the Impreza STI. The Legacy's subtle approach may be too bland for some, but that understatement may well prove to be more enduring and endearing over time. I like the cabin of the Subaru Legacy. It's spacious and comfortable, and the seats are dressed in all directions. Ergonomics of a high standard too, with the controls exactly where you expect them to be, and the equipment list, of course, absolutely full house. Expect all the mod cons, from climate control to multi-speaker sound, from keyless entry to electric everything. Even the glass sunroof is standard. The cabin also exudes a sense of premium quality. The lavish leather upholstery is luxurious and the surfaces, materials and finishes are more upmarket than anticipated, with a carbon fibre accent adding a welcome element of sportiness. As we've come to expect of Subaru, it's all screwed together with close attention to quality, ensuring that rattles and squeaks are noticeable only by their absence. Accommodation is spacious front and rear, and at 476 litres, the boot is fair sized too. The engine is at the very core of the Legacy GT's appeal. Of course, being a Subaru, it's a flat four turbocharged engine with twin overhead cams, producing 195 kilowatts of maximum power together with 350 newton meters of torque. Asymmetrical all wheel drive also standard on this car, but unusually, the gearbox is a five speed automatic. That transmission choice feels a little dated, given that 6, 7 and even 8-speed autos are now the norm. It's not the fastest shifter either, and it tends to blunt the drivetrain's capabilities. If anything, a manual gearbox would have been a better choice, especially considering the Legacy's athletic capabilities. On the upside, the engine has enough urge to make do with fewer ratios, and it makes coping with traffic more convenient. To be honest, the Legacy GT is more of a cruiser than a bruiser. For all its power and its torque, it never really feels as swift as you expect. And in fact, you have to use this ST Sharp drive mode to get the gear changes to be as crisp and as quick as you'd like them to. Drive it with a bit of vigor and it is certainly quick enough, 0 to 100 times 6.2 seconds, the top speed 245 kilometers an hour. But where it is at its absolute best is on long distances. The chassis setup is nicely balanced, finding a good compromise between composure and comfort. It's softer than the GT Monaco would intimate, but there's still enough tautness to allow confident handling and decent chassis feedback. Effective damping means that compromised road surfaces never unsettle the car, but the steering feels too remote. The four-wheel drive means that grip is tenacious and the GT will attack corners with glee, easily sticking to the chosen line. The result is something of a cue car, a sedan that feels more sportier than it looks and tends to visually understate its dynamic capabilities. There's a lot to like about the Subaru Legacy GT. It starts off with that drivetrain, a flat four turbo engine and asymmetrical all-wheel drive. Then the cabin, which is spacious and comfortable and also well equipped. 
And remember, because you see so few of these cars on our roads, there's an element of exclusivity as well. But on the negative side, this car is not nearly as sporty as its nameplate would like to suggest. And given the 479,000 Rand asking price, I think a lot of people are still going to opt for BMWs, Audis and Mercedes Benzes. A lusty flat four boxer engine is the heart and soul of the legacy, while symmetrical all wheel drive provides grip and composure. A full house interior and good straight line dynamics are further plus points, but an understated execution means that many will opt for smaller premium brand offerings.